Good morning. Today we have with us the Lieutenant Governor, Susan Bysowitz, and she is here to kick off our complete count for the 2020 census. We have several people with us, our state rep, Adam Wright from the base, League of Women Voters. The Lieutenant Governor will be introducing all of them and we'll be talking to you about the importance of the census. Lieutenant Governor Bysowitz. Mayor, thank you so much uh, for having us this morning. Uh, we are very happy to uh, be here to help Groton City and Town kick off their census efforts for the 2020 census. Uh, since February, uh, when our state launched the Complete Count Committee uh, with over 100 organizations partnering in that effort, we have been traveling around the state to get out the very important message that every person should be counted in our census. And so this is our 23rd town that we have had the pleasure of visiting, and we appreciate all of these leaders who are with us today uh, for making this uh, a priority. Uh, the governor and I uh, wanted to uh, start a complete count committee because $11 billion in funding at the federal level is riding on this effort for Connecticut. And this is a monumental effort to count every one of the more than 3.5 million people in our state. So it's going to require a very organized uh, effort that engages people at the grassroots level in every municipality in our state. That's why uh, we have asked our Secretary of the State, Denise Merrill, State Representative Chris Rosario of Bridgeport, and Representative Pat Wilson Phineas to be our co-chairs in this effort to make sure our urban areas, our small towns, uh, and uh, our state is participating in uh, the most complete way. We have invited uh, chambers of commerce, including the Southeastern Chamber of Commerce, uh, the League of Women Voters, uh, the NAACP, uh, community health centers, labor organizations, and many other organizations to join us in this effort. Counting everyone uh, in our diverse state uh, is not without its challenges, and I want to briefly mention what some of those challenges are. Uh, first um, is that we have hard to count areas in 25 percent uh, of our state. And where are those? They are in urban areas like the Groton, New London area, uh, where you have people moving in and out frequently. Uh, it is also uh, in, it is also very difficult to count people in uh, places where uh, we have uh, many immigrants. Uh, so that is one challenge. Uh, another challenge is uh, the digital divide. Uh, not everyone has internet access, and this is going to be really important this census because this is the first one where people can fill out their census forms online. Uh, and so we know that our public libraries are important partners uh, in this effort. Uh, and then the final challenge that we face is the controversy over the citizenship question, uh, which unfortunately has discouraged some people in our communities of color and immigrant communities uh, from coming forward. And we want uh, to get the message out that it is important for everyone, whether they are uh, documented or not, to fill out the census because that information is kept confidential. It can only be used for statistical purposes, and it is very safe uh, to complete the census. And that is why our partners are so important in this effort. We want to have trusted members of our community with our communities across the state that have networks so that those people, those leaders, can get the message out 
that it is safe and important to uh, fill out the census forms, whether they're filled out on paper, over the telephone, or online. And I just wanted to drill down briefly on uh, funding sources because, as I mentioned, Connecticut receives almost $11 billion a year in federal funding. And that funding goes directly to municipalities for uh, Head Start, for SNAP, for federal school lunch, for Medicaid programs, for community block grants, for highway uh, and road projects, and many more. It's also very critical to our business community that uses that data to decide where to locate housing, where to locate new stores and retail operations and manufacturing facilities uh, and the like. So we're so proud to be here with some very uh, distinguished and important leaders in the Groton area. Uh, and with that, I'm gonna ask uh, Patrice Granatoski, the mayor of Groton, to come back and just say a few words about the efforts that uh, Groton is making for a complete count. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor Bicewitz. Um, Library Director Mealy is here. If you'd come up and join oh, us, please. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Um, the Lieutenant Governor will be introducing everyone that's here. I just wanted to acknowledge Councillor Parker is here as well, and Mayor of the City of Groton, Keith Hedrick, is here. Um, we were fortunate to have Eva Benell, our local census contact, attend one of our council meetings, and she did a very nice presentation to kind of start us off and give the council background on why this is important. At Eva's urging, we have formed a complete count committee. Um, Elizabeth Porter will be chairing the complete count committee, and um, she is a retired department head at Fitch High School uh, teacher, so she has good communication skills. She understands. Um, the importance of it as she was a social studies teacher. So um, Liz will be kicking that off and she will be looking for volunteers. So if anyone is interested in helping, you can contact me at my town email address and I can put you in touch with Liz. Right. Um, what Eva stressed to us at the council meeting is that the census is safe, easy, and important. And I think you'll be hearing that from the various speakers today. Um, and the Lieutenant Governor has already stressed to us the importance of completing the census. So uh, we're trying to be welcoming and including everyone here. And we have good partners. And thank you very much for coming down, Lieutenant Governor. Thank you so much. And now I'd like to introduce Mayor Keith Hedrick for a few words. Keith. Thank you. <clears throat> the city of Groton and the town of Groton are going to be partnering on this great effort for the complete count. I will be inviting Eva to come to a town council meeting, and we will be in later this year, probably at, uh, in August or September, and then we will be having our complete count committee formed as well. But it is important to me with the diversity that we have in, this, in uh, the city of Groton and the town of Groton that all people are counted. And I recognize that there is a fear out there that this information may be used against you. We're trying to get the word out that that's not the case. You count. Every single person counts in this, regardless of your nationality. It is important that we get you documented on, get your numbers on this census. And so, this once again, this is an effort that the city and town are working on together. So thank you very much, and we look forward to working with you in the next year. Okay. Just very briefly, I wanted to um, welcome Reverend Coleman from St. John's Church. Um, he is here with us today as well. Mayor, thank you so much. I'd like to introduce John Burt, town manager, for a few words. I just wanted to reiterate what the Lieutenant Governor mentioned about funding being uh, tied into the census. Uh, many of our grants, like community development block grants, transportation grants, and others that greatly affect each and every one of us in the town are tie is tied into population numbers. So it's drastically important that everybody participate and we get the full count available. So thank you. Uh, thank you, John. Um, and now it is uh, my pleasure to introduce uh, State Representative Christine Connolly, who does wonderful work in Hartford for a few words. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor. I'm here on behalf of the Southeastern Delegation, uh, just letting everyone know that myself, Representative Dela Cruz, Representative Nolan, and Representative Rotella strongly support this, uh, this process. 
strongly support everyone filling out their census, knowing that the census is safe, your personal information will be kept confidential, and the statistics are extremely important uh, for the government, for funding, for our towns and our municipal aid, and also for our business partners. Our data um, is about 10 years old from the last census right now, and getting updated data that all the residents of Connecticut, where people live, what people's needs are, is extremely important, and that's why we do a census every 10 years, and the time has come, and despite some of the publicity that was negative, the census is safe, and it's time to get all the updated data so that we can move forward with all of our projects and continuing to make Connecticut very relevant and a great place for everyone. Thank you so much, uh, Representative Conley. And uh, one, uh, another important reason that census uh, completion is important is we want everyone not only to receive the resources that their community deserves, but we also want them to be counted because our political representation, both at the state legislative level and at the Congress level, depend upon a complete and accurate count. Um, and I also want to thank Senator Summers uh, for sending her representative. Uh, she is also a very strong supporter uh, of this effort. And now I'd, bring, I'd like to bring up um, a representative uh, of the League of Women Voters who have made uh, the census a top priority. Uh, and I'd like to invite Christina Negron up for a few words on behalf of the League. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor. Uh, speaking for the League of Women Voters, our local chapter is dedicated to helping with this effort. We've already done some education um, initiatives with some of the local schools um, because I think some of those are the ones where we're going to get uh, the most um, re um, dead, um, important um, information out to them about how safe the uh, census is. And again, this is a, a top priority for us, and we will be uh, helping with this effort. Thank you. Christina, thank you so much. I'd like to introduce Albert Cologne, uh, who is a very active community member who has a few words for us in Spanish, and we really appreciate him being here. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor. Esta, esta census del 2020 es algo que es muy importante para nosotros. Es, esto es muy fácil, muy importante, y es algo que toma las decisiones para todos nosotros para en los próximos 10 años. Esto decide cuántos representantes cada estado recibe, decide cuánto dinero es que el estado recibe y cada ciudad recibe. So eso es algo que es muy importante para nosotros. No solamente eso, pero es algo que es seguro. Cada persona que sale para tomar, esta, para tomar este censo toma una promesa de vida jurando que nunca van a compartir ninguna información que está recibido por ellos. So esto es algo que es muy importante para nosotros hacer Y no solamente esto, pero también es algo que, que toda la comunidad está, tiene, necesita tomar una parte para hacer. Eh, hasta los líderes, los líderes de la iglesia, también los líderes políticos y los, las asociaciones de los hispanos y de todos tipos de organizaciones los invita a tomar esto en serio y tomar esto, eh, tomar esto eh, como, un esta, como, como una cosa muy importante para nosotros. Eh, también eh, nos invita esto a tomar, eh, nos invita, nos da una oportunidad para nosotros a conseguir trabajos en el censo para el 2020, que da buenos salarios, da horarios que son muy flexibles, paga semanal y es una, capiti, una capacitación pagada. So, si también deseas recibir más información sobre esto, puedes ir a la página de internet que es el 2020census.gov-jobs para buscar más trabajos en estos. Eh, Por favor, no toman miedo de esto. Esto es algo que, si es documentado, es indocumentado. Esto es algo que toma la decisión para nuestro estado y para todo el Estados Unidos. So, les invito a todos a poder a hacer esto y apoyar en nuestra comunidad. Si tiene cualquier pregunta, por favor, vengan a nosotros. Aquí eh, puede, con, eh, puede a, mantenerse en comunicación con la ciudad de Groton o también puede a, buscar en el census.gov para más información. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you so much. Uh, we really appreciate uh, that, Albert. Uh, also, we have been inviting 
some of the largest employers in our area to participate uh, in our state and in each area uh, to participate because their participation is critical to the success of the census. So we have had uh, both uh, uh, the Mashantucket uh, Tribal Nation and uh, the Mohegan Tribal Nation be part of this effort, and we've also invited uh, a sub-base to be part of it, and we're so happy to have Adam Wright here. He is the community planning and liaison officer at the sub-base, and we invite him for a few words. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor Bicewich and Mayor Gronitowski. Uh, a lot of people don't know that uh, military personnel assigned to both barracks and who live off base uh, here in Groton would respond that they live in Groton. So um, to the extent that we want to get that word out, I was speaking to our commanding officer today, uh, Captain Moore, and he said we will uh, put out some information so that everyone is aware of that on the base. So that's something we can do to help uh, get the word out. So we all feel it's a very important effort. So thank you. Um, thank you so much. And with that, uh, we have been traveling uh, around the state with so many of the great people that work for the United States Census Bureau. Uh, and I'm happy to introduce uh, Keith Goralski, who will talk about the Census Bureau's efforts here in Connecticut. Keith. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Keith Gorowski, as Susan said, and I am a media specialist for the New York region of the U.S. Census. I work closely with Evil Bunnell, covering Connecticut, and I also cover uh, most of the states in New England. Um, first, I'd like to thank all of these guests standing up here, these distinguished leaders, along with Lieutenant Governor Bicewitz, the trusted voices here who together are taking a major step toward achieving the one overarching goal for all of us, and that's conducting a complete and accurate count. And we achieve that by counting everyone once, only once, and in the right place. Two things I want to talk about, two things to cover today. First, we need census ambassadors. This Groton uh, Complete Count Committee needs trusted voices, people in the community who share our message that the census is safe, easy, and important. Title 13 federal law protects every piece of data that we collect. What does that mean? It means we cannot, under any circumstance, release information that identifies an individual or a household, period. Doesn't matter what federal, state, or local agencies may be interested. We cannot share any information that we collect that would identify an individual or a household. So be assured the census is safe. In 2020, the census is easy. Four ways to fill your census obligation. Online and by phone for the first time ever, and you can do so in 12 non-English languages. In addition, if you prefer to write it on paper, you'll receive a census form by mail. Those still not counted will get the friendly knock on the door by one of our enumerators. So there's four methods and many more languages that are available in 2020. So yes, the census is easy. It's important. Lieutenant Governor Bicewitz talked about it. Some of these other trusted voices touched on it as well. Um, think money. More than $675 billion annually from the federal government. Think power. Legislative boundaries and seats at stake. Just remember, we get one chance every 10 years to get it right. And this is our opportunity to collect the most complete and accurate census for the state of Connecticut. So the census is very important. The other topic I want to recover, recruiting. We continue recruiting operations for the 2020 census. Soon, area census offices open in Danbury, Hartford, and New Haven. We need managers to run these offices. We need supervisors, clerical support to manage operations that these offices will be overseeing. Also, while the census is a national event, we will only be successful if we conduct it on the local level. We need members of the community to work in their own neighborhoods as enumerators, going door to door to count those who have not previously been counted. Most census jobs will be short-term, temporary positions. In this area, the pay for these jobs is $21 an hour. 
$21 an hour here in southeastern Connecticut. You can apply for these jobs at 2020census.gov forward slash jobs. Again, that's 2020census.gov forward slash jobs. Once again, I'd like to thank Lieutenant Governor. We've been uh, across the state with her and her staff for their leadership, instituting, partnering with, and supporting complete count committees, one city, one town at a time. I appreciate your engagement this morning and want to congratulate you on the formation of the Groton Complete Count Committee. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and with that, we're very happy that we have several uh, media outlets with us today. Um, so we'll give anyone uh, from the media an opportunity to ask any of us any questions that you might have. Um, I'll, I'll just say one thing generally, and then we're going to have uh, our mayor come up. Um, so starting last year, I believe Bridgeport uh, was the first city to form a complete count committee. Uh, they, did, they did that by a council ordinance. Um, and so we have been asking uh, towns across the state to form complete count committees. Dozens of uh, cities and towns have already done that. Uh, and uh, we've asked towns to engage diverse uh, community leaders to participate in that. And with that, I'm gonna ask the mayors to come up and talk about their, their committee. Thank you. Uh, the goal that I have for our complete count committee is mainly outreach. Um, the, the actual taking of the census will not be done by the complete count committee. So our committee will be going out into the various constituencies in the town and partnering with them, like the League of Women Voters, um, like Reverend Coleman's group, um, and the base, and reaching out and publicizing the importance of completing the census when given the opportunity to do so. Did you want to add anything? Yeah, just real quick. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to do the same thing in the city, but this is about, basically it's about marketing and it's about to get the word out. The actual conduct will be, the conduct of the complete count will be performed by a different group, but this is about getting the word out, identifying people, letting them know, getting, getting the word to the people that are in the shadows, and to let people know that it's safe, and to get the interest and get people out and about knowing about the census so that we can get the complete count. The other thing I just want to add is that because of the digital divide in our state, uh, our libraries are trusted partners, so we know people will go to the library and um, they may have questions. So we visited with the Connecticut Library Association. We're glad uh, the library director is here. And we've also um, made sure that we reached out to the faith-based communities across the state, both on our statewide committee and local uh, committees will have faith-based groups there as well because uh, many churches have uh, internet access and computers available for uh, their parishioners so they are uh, a key component of our effort as well. Um, our library director would like to say a few words. This is Jen Mealy from the Groton Public Library. Jen, thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. Um, I want to let everybody know that Groton Public Library is fully on board to assist in the success of the 2020 uh, census. While we have already met with representatives from the 2020 census in our workforce development program, our job club, to shine light on employment opportunities that will be available with the 2020 census. And it is important to also know why libraries are essential, trusted partners in achieving a complete count in the 2020 census. As stated from the American Libraries Association, libraries are deliverers of information about the census and their host community outreach activities. They provide internet access and enable respondents to complete the census form online. They serve as trusted messengers, including in hard to count communities, as stated before, and train data users and provide access to census statistics for businesses and community members. We look forward to working with community members, the Census Bureau, 
and the state and local policymakers to ensure a successful 2020 census. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, any other questions? We thank you all so much for coming uh, and uh, appreciate Groton hosting us today. Thank you all so much. <laughs>